In this episode of MCC Adventure, we go solo into the Cascade Mountains to celebrate the Christmas holiday. Come hang out with us. It's going to be a good time. All right, MCC Adventure. Merry Christmas, Merry first Christmas. of all. Yeah, so it's Christmas Day. We celebrated Christmas last night with our kids. And so we're on the trail heading to Conrad Meadows if we can make it. That old familiar sound, tires being aired down. So uh, looks like the road's plowed here for a little bit, probably not plowed all the way. So uh, we're gonna go find a campsite and uh, got some leftover ribs from yesterday. We're looking forward to this adventure. So hang out with us. Peace. Well, that trip didn't last long. Tried to do some research on the internet beforehand to see if these were uh, snowmobile trails up here, and indeed they are. So, uh, unfortunately got the tires aired down already and made it about a mile. So, back down the road we go. Well, we're gonna give it another go. We uh, got the tires aired up. We left the Rim Rock Lake area because everything was snowmobile trails. We're back up in one of our familiar stomping grounds. So we know these are not snowmobile trails. It's been pouring rain all the way up the highway. So it just started turning to uh, sleet and ice here and snow. So up high, we should be good. Hopefully it's not rain. So uh, getting these tires aired down and up the trail we go. So hang out with us. We'll see what happens. What a great Christmas day. Merry Christmas. Peace. It's pretty cool. Snowed outside. We're talking white Christmas now. I can dig that. So, God, that was a drag back in that one area where we hit all the snowmobile trails. So we're back up in uh, some of our uh, familiar territory. Uh, pretty excited because it's snowing pretty good. The last few times I've been up here, it's been sleety and slushy. So uh, temperatures are down. Uh, it's going to be a great night to do some winter camping and definitely a white Christmas now. So. Uh, We'll get a few uh, pictures outside before it gets too dark so you can see what's going on. So hang out with us and uh, hang, we'll see what's going on. Wow. Oh yeah, white Christmas. Cool up here. Right on. That's what I'm talking about. I'm excited. So we're going to find ourselves a good campsite. I think I'll uh, get my drone out, see if I can ruin it in the rain and the snow. Why not, huh? Pretty cool. This is called Canteen Flats. Uh, new shocks coming for it though the struts are no good they're not very strong so i gotta help it up a little bit but tell you what cvdt they were awesome sent me new struts no questions asked <laughs> a little easier than the other tent, huh? Uh-huh, it's good. Alright, just like that, you'd be fine. Hmm. 
to say, how come you fire? I'm not worried about blowing it away. We don't have any wind, but I'll get the stakes out and move it. Well, I do got to find the stake bag. I need the strap. All right, we're all set up. Christmas. We have a white Christmas. Loving the new tent. It's so cool, so easy to set up. Awning takes a little work, but we got the awning today because it could be a little more snow and rain. So we're all set up. Got the lantern going, getting my lights out. And uh, oh yeah, this, ribs. An aluminum foil. Oh, we're gonna burn there. They fell over. Got some ribs here. Happening now, Christmas night. It's my kind of night. Be fun if the kids are all here, huh? All right, so we're all set up. Got the awning up. Diesel heater set up. Loving the new uh, Mountain Hood tent from CVT. So, uh, and also liking all my lighting. Of course, not going to run that too long. Don't want to kill the battery. Of course, it'd probably run a long time. So I got the lantern going. Going to get these lights killed. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah. There's a martini in my piece here. Right on. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah. Some ribs, some garlic cheese bread. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Except for the smoke in my eyes. Uh, yeah. I just do this. <laughs> you tell me if the bread's burning, okay? <laughs> you go this way. Hey, you go that way. It's this yeah. way. I'm cooking Come by here. braille. Come on, this way. I'm cooking by braille here. <laughs> help me. All right. I'm gonna get this butter hot. We'll get a little butter on the bread. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be good stuff. Yeah. All oh, these ribs we had for Christmas Eve last night. Mm -hmm. God. I know the kids all wanted to take some home. <laughs> <laughs> they left us one rack. Last one. <laughs> they left us one. <laughs> Thank you, kids. <laughs> all right. So we got a little butter for the bread. Can't have bread without butter, huh? <laughs> Ooh, garlic Ooh. cheese bread. Oh yeah. Actually, I'll keep this warm. I'll put the bread in here to keep it warm. I'll put that there. All right, I think I just about got this bread warm with the butter on it. Okay, and the pan is hot, so let's do this. Let's put it in the hot pan to keep it warm. Okay, get that in the hot pan for a minute. Okay, and then let's get these ribs on this wood and carry them over. All right. Okay. Think I can drop this? <laughs> All right. Come on. See what we got going on here, Hong. You got the camera rolling? Yeah. All right. We got pan down there. That hot pan. Empty martini. Let's see what's under, let's see what's under this Christmas present on Christmas night, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're warm. Oh my god. 
Look at these ribs. Ooh, yeah. This was a dry rub I made last night for Christmas Eve with the family. And one of the ingredients I started using in a dry rub I've never done, it's kind of expensive because you use a lot, but it's dried green ancho chili powder. And oh my God, it is so good. Okay, I got a knife here somewhere. Where'd my knife go? I don't know where your knife go. Here, here, here. Thank you. Here. All right. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. ho, ho. You tell me this ain't a good Christmas dinner, huh? Mm. You know what? Mm -hmm. Overlanding, camping, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. <laughs> In the mountains on Christmas. Wow, don't get much better than this. All right, come on in here close. Look at this. Come on in here, I'll picture that. Oh, look at these ribs. Oh, look at that. And so this was cooked over mesquite with a little hickory last night. And I make my own barbecue sauce. So it's a homemade barbecue sauce, homemade dry rub. And we're gonna need a whole bunch of wet wipes, I think. All right, let's see what we got going. Okay, hang on, Hong. Let me see. Oh man. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go eat. Okay. Peace. Well, Hong, I would say we have ourselves a Christmas fire. Yeah. Merry Christmas Merry to us. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Isn't this great? Mm -hmm. Wow, I love it. This tree looks cool behind the fire. Oh, that's cool. Well, good morning. What a beautiful morning. Oh man, we got no clouds in the sky. Get a picture of this. The sun over here behind me is coming up. Oh yeah, beautiful morning. So, got a little snow last night. Get the snow off the awning here a little bit. Get the coffee pot fired up. Time for some coffee this morning. Happy day after Christmas. <laughs> right on. Wow. Gorgeous. Love the mountains in the winter. All right, that's enough silent movie. If you follow the channel, you're familiar with this scene. Morning coffee, and as I always say, lots of it. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. Sun's out. Got a fire going over here. Let me zoom you in over here. So we got the fire going this morning. So get some coffee going, set by the fire. Oh, and the sun was coming up earlier. I didn't get much video, didn't video it, but sunrise was beautiful coming up through the snow and the trees. Just a beautiful morning. So it's the day after Christmas. Not sure what today's gonna bring. We're just gonna, we're gonna chill and uh, go drive around. We love uh, winter camping and snow wheeling. 
I mean, we're not doing extreme snow wheeling. I mean, I have a, uh, I have a Jeep TJ that we've done some pretty hardcore snow wheeling with, but taking a rig out like this and doing hardcore snow wheeling, that's not my bag. I spent enough years racing, destroying stuff, tearing stuff up. Probably one of the most abusive things other than mud to do to a Jeep is the crazy deep snow where you see people plowing snow up to the radiator, plugging the radiator, high RPMs, screwing their transmissions up. I mean, basically using a Jeep like a bulldozer and that's good entertainment. I love to watch my friends do that. Not gonna do it with my rig, not this rig. I wanna drive it home, not get towed home. So uh, most of the trails up here aren't too crazy hard right now. They will be when the snow gets deeper, but right now uh, the snow's not deep. Biggest problem we've had this year with this season is uh, lots of ice because it snowed and then melted. And ice, unless you're chained up or you got screws, it's just not manageable. In fact, I got a set of tires I'm setting up for my TJ right now. I ordered a tire cutter, lots of carbide studs. So I'm gonna screw up a set of tires. I'm looking forward to that. Um, so anyway, for now though, enough Jeep and snow wheeling. Time to get some coffee rolling here. Oh yeah, she's almost boiling. I don't know if you can hear the noise or not. I got the Jeep running, got the motor warming up. Uh, left some of my batteries in the car, so warming up some of the lithium batteries. And I think I'm about ready to pour some water on this bad boy. How are we making out here? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finished. See, my half and half is frozen. If not, I had it in the uh, had it in the trash room all night because I my cooler was buried and I forgot to put uh, half and half in the cooler, so I stuck it in the trash room. Figured it'd be fine. That's not sugar. That's creamer. All right, well, I'm gonna grab this coffee, go sit by the fire and kick back. Find my sugar, gotta have a little sugar for coffee. Slightly better than a Starbucks. I do enjoy my mornings at the coffee shop, but this is the best coffee shop there is. So if this makes it into my video, um, drop me a comment. Let me know how you like to brew coffee in the morning. You just saw my scene. I, I was using French presses, instant coffee, doing different things, percolators, and now I'm doing the Melita style with the little uh, collapsible cone pretty darn good it's all coffee though it all tastes good French press is too much work you make the coffee then you got to use a half gallon of water to clean all the grounds out of the thing so French press just isn't practical for overlanding if you don't have a large water supply I mean this is kind of nice because there's really no cleanup throw the coffee filter away it's actually the cone is biodegradable the coffee throw it in the fire pit or whatever um, if you need to, so it burns, which is nice. Don't wanna waste time. I'll never be this young. I'll never be this young again. Don't wanna chase highs when I'm too worn out. When I'm too worn out, so I I'm never coming down.
beautiful day. Yeah. We got everything packed up at camp, except for the lawn chairs, and uh, went for a little walk. Camp's back that way. <laughs> Forgot how tiring it is to walk in the snow. But wow, what a beautiful view from up here. Clouds are starting to roll in. You can still see Mount Rainier over there in some of the mountains. It's beautiful. Of course, with this camera turned around like this, you can't see much, but uh, wow. Good day to go for a walk in the mountains. It's our, uh, our exercise. <laughs> Bunch of elk tracks down here, lots of rabbit tracks. There are definitely animals passing through last night in the dark. So anyway, this has been a fun uh, little adventure for uh, Christmas dinner and coming out. And uh, glad y'all are tagging along with us. No gimmicks, no catches, just a couple old people camping and overlanding. Nothing sensationalized. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but joking aside, you know, sometimes I think it's hard to get people just to watch kind of what normal people do because there's so much exciting content out there, you know, to try to draw people in. And uh, we just hope you like uh, following us. I mean, so far we're... We're not making any money off this. We're not monetized, you know, we're not advertising anything, not trying to sell your refrigerator. Uh, just pretty much trying to share with you what, uh, you know, I don't think we're normal people, sorry. I won't use that phrase again. <laughs> Far from, <laughs> oh well. All right, well, back toward the car we go. Long's moseying down the trail with the dog. His legs are not long enough. Sonny, what's wrong with your legs? They're too short. He's got his snow boots on. <laughs> the dog's hilarious. He tolerates the boots and the clothes, you know, so he doesn't mind them at all. All right, so we're gonna wander down and we're not doing any great trail riding today, but we're gonna go for a trail ride and go look around, see if we can capture some good views to share. So you probably don't wanna listen to me breathe like a dog anymore walking through the snow, so. We'll catch up with you a little bit as we get loaded up and go down the trail. Peace. Wow, what a beautiful view. Hope I got the exposure right here. I can't hardly see anything in the sun on the screen. Thought I'd break out my new camera. I haven't used it all weekend. Wow. into the waves babe I know that you want it to it's a risk worth taking even if it's over soon want you skin tight close like denim come on love me right when it's sending I'll be fine I got your body close to my Sausage dogs. Mm -hmm. I got some andouille sausage. On our way home from uh, 
Our little Christmas break, check out this view. Oh wow. Clouds are settling in over the mountain. Beautiful. I'll come here, Hans. Let me get the sausages out and then we'll do it. Get this baby fired up, and I've got some andouille sausages. Oh, these are good. How many dogs you gonna want, Pong? Two. You want two? Okay. You want one regular hot dog and one spicy one? Okay. I don't like the other ones? Okay. So we'll do one big dog. And so what I'm gonna do here first I'm going to boil these babies in water before I sear them because this will get them hot faster. We'll get some water boiling. Get those babies going. And then sit over here by the fire. Wow, I'm enjoy this lunch. What a great place for lunch, huh? Yeah, good wow, one. It's beautiful. Yeah, i got to put my sunglasses on. Wow, it's so bright. <laughs> it, it's so cool, you know, being above the clouds like this. Earlier, um, like in the drone footage you saw, you could see Mount Rainier and stuff. Now it's kind of disappearing. Man, beautiful day. Sonny, you happy there? Got us a little fire going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Woo! My hand's warm. lunch Good. it's kind of crazy we just pulled in here and flew my drone and got some views and then here came the clouds the mountains are getting moody wow just just like that it rolled in it's kind of cool spin this around here yeah it's kind of cool how we're up here and it was all kind of clear and it's flying the drone and then boom here comes the clouds Yep, Mr. Moody Mountain. Not much wind though, so that's good. Normally when you're on some of these points out here overlooking Rainier and the mountains over here in the distance, it can be pretty windy up here. So what a great, what a great night we had. And we're still continuing to have fun. We're gonna load up and go down the trail in a little while. I'm gonna sit down, drink a Coca-Cola, let this fire burn down. And uh, eventually work our way home. Thanks for tagging along with MCC Adventure. And hey, remember, if you like what we do, by all means, subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. Uh, we would like to monetize the channel to help offset some of our travel expenses if it's possible. But we need to get to 1,000 subscribers first. Help me hit my goal. It's free. It costs you nothing. And by all means, drop a comment. Be interactive. That helps the algorithm. YouTube, you know, when people interact, YouTube distributes videos more. So it all helps us out. We appreciate it. We just uh, are kind of flattered that you watch our videos and tag along with a couple old people out overlanding. 
not doing anything crazy, just out having a good time. But we appreciate you tagging along. So we're going to sit down and enjoy this fire, and then uh, we'll be rolling down the trail. Get everything put up over here. I kind of burned my pan a little bit. Get some boiling water on it. Oh yeah, I made a mess of that one. All right, over and out. Wow, the fog really came in, that's for sure. It's not foggy driving home on the highway, probably not. Uh, just the mountains. Yeah, probably just the mountains. Fog, fog, fog. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll get down from here, get these tires aired up. We'll be rolling. All right, MCC, that old familiar sound, tires being aired up. Step away from all this noise. It's loud. So anyway, until next Christmas, <laughs> stop. I'll cut and then do another one. We're down. What? Yep. All right, MCC, that old familiar sound, tires being aired up. So that means it's time to go home. Let me step back away from this obnoxious sound so you can hear me. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Hope you had a good time hanging out with us while we're camping over Christmas. So it's almost time to put the hat up until next year. So until then, happy trails, go get your adventure on. And remember, if you like what we do, subscribe. It costs you nothing, helps us build the channel. And by all means, drop a comment. If you like the video, we really appreciate it. So we're gonna get this thing aired up and we're heading home. And we will see you down the trail. Peace. Good, that's better, huh?